going on everyone? In this video, we're gonna go over how to kind of learn how to load kilogram plates. Um, for the people in the US and some other countries that use pound plates, it's hard to learn that transition to learning how to load kilogram plates. And while you can use like different apps that will tell you how to load it, or you can pre-plan it all and write it all down when you're going into a training session or a competition, um, sometimes you have to kind of know what's on the bar on the go in the warm-up room or maybe on the platform and maybe you just want to kind of learn it anyways so we're going to go over some basic loadouts that you can start learning from easier going to more difficult and then eventually it's just going to take more practice to learn every single variation and the kind of like the different patterns involved so obviously the first thing you want to do is learn what a standard bar is so the standard ipf competition bar is going to be 20 kilograms which is 44 pounds and then each of the collars that go on there are two and a half kilos. So when you add the 20 plus the two and a half plus the two and a half, you get the 25 kilos or 55 pounds is the minimum weight you can start with. So then once we start adding the plates on, you always have to remember that you're adding it to the 25 kilos, the bar and the collars. So kind of have a little table here that we can kind of go through. Um, starting with the easier side is you can always start learning out how to load the red plates first, the 25 kilo plates, all right? They're pretty much always red depending on the brand. So we can start with just loading one red on each side. So you already have the 25 kilos of the bar on the collars, and then you're adding another 25 kilos for one side, that gets you 50, and then you're adding 25 kilos for the other side, gets you 75. So in a competition, if you're doing one red, it's gonna get you 75, all right? From there, what you can start doing is learning two reds, three reds, four reds, five reds, six reds, and just start learning that base level. So when you go to two reds, you can just go off of the first one, 75, and then you're adding 25, gets you 100, and then you're adding another 25, that gets you 125. So if you start seeing the pattern, 25 for the empty bar, 75 for one red, 125 for two reds, you see it's going up 50 kilos each time because you're adding 225s. So then you can just start going up 50 kilos each time. So here you can go 175. Here you can go 225 for four. And then if you're going up to five reds, it's 275. And then 325, 375, 425, 475, like that. And you can learn that pattern of going up 50 kilos and it's always going to end in the five. All right. Then we can come one column over. So the way I have this is you're adding a blue to one red, okay? So we already have the red of 75, and now I wanna add, it's almost always blue, depending on the brand, 20 kilos on each side. So we add the first 20 kilos, gets us 95, and then we add the second kilo, 20 kilos gets us 115. All right, so one red and one blue on each side is gonna be 115. So then we go down one row, and let's do the same thing with 125. So 125 plus 20, is 145 and add another one 165 all right so now you just start seeing the pattern here 115 165 again we're going up 50 kilos because we're just adding the red with a blue so here going up another 215 and then here 265 so now you start seeing a pattern here with the blues is they also always end in five but the second number is different here we're switching between twos and sevens, and here we're switching between ones and sixes. So you can kind of start learning that pattern. So if someone calls for 115 kilos on the platform, and you go out there and you look and you see there's only reds on there, you know it can't be, it can't be just reds on there, it's the wrong load, because the reds are gonna end in twos and sevens. All right, or you can quickly think in your head, well, one red is 75, I add 20 and 20, I get 115, so it can't be uh, one red or two reds for 115 on the platform, so then you know it's a, a missed load. All right, so we'll go to our next column. I don't have yellow color for our yellow plates, so I'm just gonna do it in black. But again, for this example, we're taking the one red and we're putting on the yellow. So we're putting on 15 and 15, so 30 pounds, that gets us one Oh, 05. Same thing here, we're taking the 125 and we're adding 30 pounds, gets us 155. Same thing here, 175 plus 30, 205. 
So you can see again, even with the, the 15 kilo plates, is if you know the base level, the reds, then you can easily add. So then we got 225 plus 30 gets us 255. So it's critical to learn this base level of the reds, and then you can easily add these up. And then once you kind of get experience, then you can start memorizing um, these loadouts. So you can memorize that three reds and a yellow is 205. And again, here you can see the pattern. It goes up 50 kilos each time. Like I said, we're adding one red each time. Again, it ends in five, okay? So if you're in a competition and it's 127.5, and you have that 0.5, you know it can't be any of these loadouts because all these loadouts are going to be your whole numbers and they all end in five and then here you can see again here we're switching between zero and five so here are the second numbers between zero and five here it's one and six and here it's two and seven so you can start seeing those patterns all right so we'll move on to our 10 kilogram plates which are typically green depending on the brown on the brand it might be a different color but typically it's green so that's why i did that so we're going to take our 75 we're going to add 10 and 10 so that gets us 95. And we're going to take our 125 and we're going to add 10 and 10 get this 145. Same thing 175 10 and 10 get this 195 and then 225 10 and 10 gets our 245. So again ending in 5 since these are all whole numbers these are always all going to end in a whole number and in this case it's going to end in the fives and then we're going up 50 kilos again each time because we're loading a plate each time on top and then now we're switching between fours and nines so you start seeing that pattern all right so now we're going to go to our five kilo plates typically white so if we're doing 75 plus five and five it's going to get you 85 and then 125 plus five and five Get you 135, 175 plus 5 on 5, get you 185, and then 225 plus 5 and 5, get you 235. So again, same pattern as before, all of them end in fives. We're going up 50 kilo jumps each time, but just in this case now we're switching between threes and eights. So you can see they all bounce between something different, whether it's 0 and 5, 1 and 6, 2 and 7. 3 and 8 or 4 and 9 okay so again you start learning these patterns and obviously the more you practice it whether in training you train up competition plates or in a, in a competition the more competitions you do the more warmth you load the more you pay attention to what load is on the bar when you're actually lifting it then you start learning these um, and then basically start memorizing them all so now the difference comes a little bit when we start getting to these smaller ones okay so our two and a half kilo plates, typically black. So now what we're doing is taking 75, and we're adding 2.5 and 2.5. So now we're gonna get 80, all right? And then 125 plus 2.5 plus 2.5, 130. 175 plus to 2.5, 2.5, get this 180. And then 225 plus 2.5, 2.5, gets us 230. All right, so now we see a slight change. Now the ending number is a zero. The reason is because we're now we're adding that fraction. All right, we're not adding a whole number. We're adding the 2.5 and 2.5, so we're only going up uh, by five each time on top of this. Instead of these that are giving us, here we're going up tw 20, or sorry, here we're going up 10, here we're going up 20, here we're going up 30, here we're going up 40. So it's gonna maintain that five. Here we're only going up five, so it's gonna change our five to a zero now. So the rest of the pattern is the same. We're going up 50 still, and in this case, we're bouncing between threes and eights. But now you can kind of see the difference is that if someone calls for a weight and it ends in a zero, then you know it can't be these options here. All right, it has to have the 2.5 kilo plate on there. All right, even if you're gonna go into some further combinations where you're adding one red plus one green plus one black, that's gonna get you 95 plus 2.5 plus 2.5 is gonna get you 100. So it ends in zero because it has the 2.5 on there. So again, if it doesn't have it on there, then it can't be an option that ends in zero. So you can start learning that. And then finally, again, we're going into fractions here, 1.25 plus 1.25 on top of the 75 is gonna get us 77.5. And then here, 
125, it's gonna get us 127.5. And here, with our base of 175, will be 177.5. And finally, with our base of 225, gets us 227.5. So again, now you see a slight difference here where we're not ending in the whole number. We got 77.5, 127.5, 177.5 and 227.5 all right so again if you're in competition and something ends in 0.5 then you know it can't just be like one red and one yellow or it can't be three reds and a blue it has to have that 1.25 chip on there in order to get that 0.5 because we're adding the 1.25 plus 1.25 so we're adding 2.5 so it's going to give us that ending of 0.5 so the rest of the pattern again is the same. We're going up 50 kilos each time, and this time we're jumping between twos and sevens. So this is what I would recommend of how you get started. First you memorize the bar and the collars, and then you start memorizing adding red plates, and you can go further, five reds, six reds, seven reds. And then the next one would be going off that base of the red and adding one extra plate. So you're gonna go two reds and a blue, learn what that is maybe do two reds and a yellow learn what that is do two reds and a green learn what that is and so on so you're doing your base red and adding one plate and kind of learning the pattern of whether it's going to end in five whether it's going to end in zero whether it's going to end in 0.5 and then obviously once you learn one it's easy to then do the 50 kilo jumps or if you learn your base red then it's easy to add in whatever it is so one red plus 20 gets us our 95. And then kind of once you get the handle of this and you do enough loads and learn it, then you can start learning, like I said, the more complicated ones. Like what if we want one red, one green, and one white, or sorry, one black, since you can't do the white. So you got 75 plus 20 gets our 95 plus 5 gets us 100. So then you can start learning those additional loads. Again, like what if you want three reds, one blue, and one silver? So three reds is our 175, and then you're going to add 40 to get your 215, and then you got to add your 2.5, and that's going to get you 217.5, would be three reds, a blue, and a silver. So then you can start learning those more difficult ones, and eventually through enough times, enough competitions, or enough training sessions, it, uh, I'm telling you, you'll, you'll start memorizing all these and you'll know all the common loads for the weights that you do for squat, bench, and deadlift. If you're coaching, you kind of learn the common loads for the type of people that you coach. Um, for example, if, if you're someone who squats and deadlifts around 500, this is going to be 501. So these are the weights that you're going to work with. You're never going to be working with the 900 pounds or 1,000 pounds. Um, so these are the ones you can learn. And if you're someone who's at 800 pounds squat and deadlift, well, then maybe you'll never work with these 200 or 100 weights so you might want to go and learn the five plates six plates seven plates and learn those options all right so i hope this helps you out and uh you can always share it with someone if you think that they will benefit from it all right